Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. In today's video, we're going to use Final Cut Pro to recreate the famous vertigo dolly zoom effect seen in many iconic films. Normally, this effect is achieved by using a camera dolly in combination with a zoom lens. In its classic form, the camera is pulled or dollied back from the subject while the lens zooms in at the same rate. This makes the background appear to change size while the subject in the foreground remains the same. This is an advanced camera shot that requires specialty equipment not available to everybody and a lot of time and skill to pull it off. While not exactly the same, a similar shot can be recreated in post-production. What you need is a shot with a subject or a foreground and a background with the camera moving either towards or away from your subject. Drone shots work really good for this because they tend to be smooth and steady. The steadier your shot is, the better this effect will look, but there is a couple things you can do to fix a slightly uneven shot. You also need to record in a higher resolution than your output. Let's take a look at the demo shot in our timeline, which can be downloaded from pixabay.com, linked in the description. This was shot in 4K, so in a 1080 timeline, the extra resolution gives us quite a bit of room for scaling. First, add a shapes generator as a reference point to help keep your subject a constant size. With your playhead at the start of the clip, resize the shape to match your reference point on your subject. Next, with a clip selected, in the inspector, from the Spatial Conform drop-down menu, select None. Skim your clip using your generator for reference until your subject size matches your generator. This is how much you can scale in on your clip without losing any resolution. Press Command-B to blade your clip there. Go back to the inspector and select Fit from the Spatial Conform drop-down menu. Move the playhead to the start of your clip, reposition your generator, select Transform in the bottom of the viewer, and hit the keyframe button. This will add a keyframe to all your transform parameters. Next, move the playhead to the end of the clip and scale and reposition your clip to match a shapes generator. A 4K clip and a 1080 timeline can be scaled up to 200%, but this will be different depending on your clip and project resolutions. Let's play that back and see how it looks. This is a good start, but if the camera movement in your clip is a little bit uneven like mine, there's still some work left to do. First, to make the effect a little more noticeable, let's speed up the clip to double speed. Next, to eliminate some of the minor bumps and shakes, let's stabilize our clip. With the clip selected, in the inspector, select the stabilization checkbox. For this example, use inertia cap and bring up the amount slider. Keep in mind though, this will scale in on your clip and you will lose a little bit of resolution. Now, to eliminate some of the bigger camera movement, we'll have to track it manually. Go back to the start of your clip and use the arrow keys to go through, repositioning and resizing your clip as necessary. Since you set a keyframe before, anytime any adjustment is made to any of the transform parameters, the keyframe will be automatically added. The more keyframes you add, the more precise your tracker will be. Finally, to make this effect more dramatic, let's reverse the clip. Click on the Clip Retime button and select Reverse Clip from the drop-down menu. This will make the background appear to move away from the subject and grow in size, creating a very cool looking effect. And like I said before, the smoother your starting shot is, the better this effect will look. Try this out in your next project to bring some emotional impact to one of your shots. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, please let me know by hitting the like button or in the comments below. And be sure to check out the rest of my channel for more Final Cut Pro tutorials. New videos released weekly, so if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.